Hey guys, welcome back to another Game Maker Roundup, where we take a look at cool things going on around the Game Maker Studio developer community. If you're new to the area, my name's Steven, and I'm glad that you found your way here. Let's get to wrangling some topics, shall we? First off, YoYo Games recently removed the 30-day limit for the trial version of Game Maker Studio 2. This means that the trial can now be used for as long as users like. Remaining restrictions for the trial include not being able to create a shareable executable, having no access to the higher performance YoYo compiler, being forced to use the very latest versions of GameMaker when updates become available, and not being able to sell assets on the GameMaker marketplace. Though users will still have access to the marketplace for downloading and purchasing assets from other users. This news has garnered a great response from the GameMaker community, and those eager to try out GameMaker for themselves. Some veteran users have mentioned how the 30-day limit had discouraged them from recommending GameMaker to others, and likewise those who teach GameMaker through sites like Udemy had to deal with potential students being discouraged by the constraints of a timed trial. But with the limitation now gone, those concerns no longer exist. Personally, I'm excited for the change because it opens up the GameMaker marketplace to many new users. This could significantly boost the marketplace traffic and benefit the developers of marketplace assets. All around, this seems like a win. And as a side note, YoYo Games previously dropped the pricing of their mobile and web modules, making each of them only 99 US dollars. On top of that, as of recording this, YoYo Games is currently running a summer sale, providing the desktop, mobile, and web licenses for $74 a piece. So if you've been looking to make a purchase, now could be a good time. In collaboration with Opera GX, YoYo Games hosted the Amaze Me Game Jam on itch.io with the given theme being Neon. Community voting has already finished, but a final judgment from a select panel is currently underway to officially pick the top three winners. Prizes include cash with $1,500 up for grabs in the top spot, as well as Game Maker Ultimate licenses. Within the Game Maker community, there was some confusion regarding various jam rules and how voting would play out. But YoYo Games has actively been listening and engaging with the community, aiming to make the process a smoother one for future events. If you would like to check out the Game Jam entries, you can find them over on the Amaze Me Game Jam itch.io homepage. A link to it will be available in the video description below. And before moving on to the next topic, I'll also mention another upcoming Game Jam being hosted by XOR on July 9th. Or is it Zor? I don't know how to pronounce this name, but anyway, the jam is being called Minecraft in 24 hours, and the goal of it is to, well, make something like Minecraft in 24 hours. YoYo Games will also be providing an ultimate game maker license for the top winner, so I might encourage you to go check it out. YoYo Games has also been making a push with their education resources by introducing a new tutorial called Little Town. Created by Benjamin Rivers, the tutorial teaches students the essentials of Game Maker while walking them through the creation of an adventure game. Along with sprites and audio assets, the tutorial includes both a written guide and video playlist. And for those who teach Game Maker to students, you're also covered, as Little Town provides an instructor guide and assessment guide. And as for the drag and drop front, YoYo Games has also dispatched a new tutorial called Fire Jump, an endless platformer that has you jumping from window to window of a burning building, rescuing panicked tenants with an endless supply of parachutes. That's one well-equipped fire department. So whether you want to start with the very basics of drag and drop with Fire Jump, or dive straight into GML with Little Town, YoYo Games has got you covered. So Game Maker isn't for 3D games, right? You should use an engine like Unity or Unreal, right? For that kind of sort of thing? Well, longtime GameMaker user Snitter might have you consider otherwise. I'd like to highlight Snitter's efforts to make 3D more accessible for the average GameMaker user, who may otherwise be intimidated by the third dimension and its mysterious Z-axis, also known as the Z-axis for you Americans. His asset SMF includes a tool for developing animations for 3D models, which can then be imported into GameMaker and managed by Snitter's framework, which makes heavy use of the GPU to execute things efficiently. There is also ColMesh, a 3D collision system which aims to be easy to use. It supports collisions with level geometry, slope calculations, moving platforms, and ray casting for things like shooting bullets. And speaking of bullets, there is also S-Part 3D for creating particles in 3D space, allowing for 2D billboarded smoke or a fountain of 3D ducks. As part 3D executes all particles on the GPU, allowing for up to hundreds of thousands of particles to be drawn all at once. Really, this stuff is pretty cool. 
Well done, Snitter. If you're interested in tackling 3D in GameMaker, then checking out these tools could be a great help. But what if creating a 3D game still scares you and you're not ready to make the jump? Well, in that case, I encourage you to check out Photon 3D by Gizmo199. Gizmo has created a framework which makes it easy to implement stacked sprite rendering, which convincingly simulates 3D effects. Photon's included demo beautifully showcases particles, volumetric fog, and lighting. It is supported by native platforms as well as HTML5, shown by its demo directly playable from within its itch.io listing. With clean documentation, which appears easy to follow, it looks like Gizmo199 has put plenty of work into this asset. If you would like to try it out for yourself, you can find a link to Photon in the video description below. And if you would like to keep tabs on what Gizmo199 is up to, you can also follow him over on Twitter. Well guys, that's it for today's GameMaker Roundup. I hope that you've enjoyed it and that you have found it to be a brighter part of your week. Be sure to check out the quick GIFs at the end of this video to see more of the cool things being made by the broader GameMaker community. And as always, you can find links to any of the articles that you found of interest in the description below. Well guys, until next time, blessings.